hello mbbs welcome back on my channel and page mbb ruth natural black and beautiful uh, today i want to show you i know this video is coming so late but i want to show you my she butter summer edition yes because i do it i prepare my cream she butter uh, with different oils using different ingredients and especially different concentrations during summertime in order to protect my skin from any type of sun damage now if you are watching me for the first time you are very welcome why don't you subscribe to my channel and follow me on facebook and instagram so that you don't you never miss any one of my videos and now let's dive straight into today's tutorial so the first ingredient i'm going with is she butter the queen shea butter make sure you get the one that is not refined okay so if your shea butter is completely odorless i am sorry but it's not unrefined it is highly refined if your shea butter is particularly white very very white it is not uh unrefined it is refined so to get the best benefits of shea butter make sure that you get the unrefined one the one that i have is straight from ghana that my parents brought when they traveled back to italy so what are the benefits of shea butter it helps to retain moisture to soft the skin smooth the skin it's full of antioxidants and it has anti-inflammatory um, properties you all know shea butter is good the good thing is that is that it contains a natural SPF f of six which can effect effectively yes combat uva and uvb rays now i read on pubmed a research that was made where in a lip balm they added shea butter and it increases its protection from sun ray of about something like 60 percent it was incredible so make sure you go with the shea butter this summer or next summer or throughout the year if you are living like in ghana nigeria togo places like that where the sun shines every day it will protect your skin from from getting old from having blemish I mean it is perfect even if you have like um, dry skin oily skin dermatitis psoriasis I can tell you that she butter is the perfect butter skin cream for all unless you are allergic to it then that is another story let's see the next ingredients next ingredient is mango butter oh i took about 200 grams of shea butter so the next ingredient is mango butter also the one that i'm using it is not uh all refined so obviously these characteristics i'm going to read will be multiplied if you're using a an unrefined product but mango bacter is an effective moisturizer moisturizer which helps to soften the skin it also has vitamin E and vitamin C, which helps to protect the skin from environmental stressors like uh, sunlight and pollution. I've been, I've been using mango butter for a while now, adding it to my shea butter when I have to use it for my skin and for my hair. And I can tell that um, I really, really like its effect on my skin, making my skin very soft, uh, very hydrated. I mean, marvelous. Uh, the only thing is that shea butter, the mango butter is very hard. So you have to warm it on Ben Marie. Take the quantity that you, you needed. I took about 50 grams and here it is. I've I melted it on fire using the Benmari method and I'm now pouring it directly in the shea butter. What I notice is that if you don't melt it and you just, you know, uh, blend it, it's going to make, it's going to leave some particles in it. But if you melt it, you won't have this effect. The next ingredient is castor oil. It took me time to use castor oil also on my skin as I thought it would have been, uh, how can I say, sticky, too heavy. However, I was very wrong. And castor oil can also soothe the skin after getting a little too much sun. So it's good during summertime. It can also be used on uh, small wounds, rashes and inflamed areas of the skin to reduce swelling, redness, itchiness and pain. And here Hear me out, uh, castor oil also contain a natural SPF of 
five stroke six so that is a very good thing i've been using it for my hair it is great on my hair great on my hairline makes my hair to be very soft my hair loves heavy butters but uh since i found that it was also good on my skin i never miss it so i added about 20 ml of castor oil next ingredient is coconut oil now do we use coconut oil everywhere i mean is it a holy grail absolutely not but when it comes to my skin my skin loves it actually also my hair loves it i don't know why some people don't like it but i think coconut oil has a lot of good benefits not i think it's not a matter of i think it that's the truth the truth coconut oil has a lot of benefits for the skin and for the hair it all depends on how you use it as of now i'm adding about 20 grams uh, 20 ml of coconut oil to this um to my um summer she butter edition and coconut oil can protect against sun damage so as you can see i'm using all ingredients or products that has uh, benefits for the skin against uh, the damages that sun the sun can cause especially if it is you know very very harsh very very um hot so i'm adding about 20 ml of uh, coconut oil also to this mixture you remember i told you that this mixture the difference between this one and winter one is that this one has less oils and and has more of the uh, she butter concentration so that i can get all the good benefits of my lovely she butter and next products that I'm going to add to my mixture is calendula oil. Now, I've not been using calendula oil for a long time. It was actually my uh, herbal man who told me, you have to use calendula. It's very good on the skin. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. And uh, it's true. It's very, very good on the skin. Now, calendula oil is very rich in antioxidants and it also helps the skin to be more bright it also protects against free radicals uh, caused by uv rays exposure and it is full of flavonoids these flavonoids can shield the skin from common sun damages effects such as spots and accelerated skin aging we know that when you stay under the sun for a very long period um yes you are going to have a very beautiful tan that is true but your skin is also going to age more rapidly now using calendula um in your as, as your skin products will help to reduce the uh, accelerated skin aging that sun can give now all these beautiful things that i'm saying about all these beautiful products they all work if you regularly use them so can you imagine using each and every one of these ingredients one after the other that would be impossible but if you mix it all together in one product oh wow it's going to work really really good so using all of this regularly every day consistently will give you the good results and that is what we are doing now next ingredient is extra virgin olive oil uh, we have olive oil and extra virgin obviously the extra virgin the one is the better one to get better results we all know uh, extra virgin olive oil is a powerful antioxidant which prevents premature aging for the skin and for all our body and it also uh, reduces bubbling or peeling skill, skin after sunburn thanks to its vitamins and nutrients we all know that when you go under the sun without any protection and the sun really hits your heart after a while your skin will begin to peel now extra virgin olive oil avoids this so it is it is logic that if i should use it before getting burned is going to protect me from getting burned so extra virgin olive oil is perfect whenever you buy your extra virgin olive oil and it's not thick the color is not intense i'm sorry it's not extra virgin of this i'm adding about 50 ml of the extra virgin olive oil while the other oils i added 20 ml each so go with it even if you want to add a little bit more of it there will be absolutely no problem 
And lastly, I'm adding a few drops of vitamin E oil. This is perfect both, both for the skin and for your hair. It can absorb the energy from ultraviolet light. This is great during summertime. So, and it's also good for photo protection because it prevents UV induced free radical uh, to damage your skin. So, just go with it. You don't need to add a lot of it because a little goes a long way and it is also expensive but it is very good if you can add a little bit there is one ingredient i didn't add here which would have been great as a product to protect you from sun from the sun which is vitamin c so if you can add few drops of vitamin c to this mix to this mixture it will be absolutely great so here we are ready with uh, my she butter summer edition for my skincare after putting everything together i just go ahead and i blend it using my russell hubs bullet blender which is actual actually the best blender i've used till now and it shows by the fact that it is still lasting after more than four years so it is definitely my best blender i use it for my skincare products for my hair care products for uh, uh, katira for to blend uh, banana frozen things sheep butter mango i mean everything and it's so perfect so i blend it in order i just blend it enough for uh, to have no um how can i say no particles to be smooth don't leave it too much to be blending if not it's going to become very liquid actually there will be no problem in that but you know it's better not to do it so after this i'm adding um actually few drops of my peppermint essential oil you know i love it for my hair and skin it has lots of benefits and i am whipping my butter the reason why i'm whipping the butter is because first of all is is i mean the the texture is beautiful but secondly i whip it also because we have a lot of shea butter in this so it's going to be hard when it becomes solid but when you whip it like this it's going to have a texture or a consistency that will still make it easier to apply on your hair this is how i adjust my whipping <laughs> my whipping machine with two bottles of water and it will be whipping for about 30 minutes yes 30 minutes and these two bottles are great as holding it uh, you know in one place if not it will be moving around so after 30 minutes this is how it looks you see how it has swollen up because it has incorporated a lot of a lot of air and this is also good because you are not going to have a very thick product on your skin during summertime but as soon as you apply it it's going to absorb it in a matter of few minutes if not even few seconds is going to absorb it and as i said before this is also good if you have oily skin people think that because they have oily skin they shouldn't use oily products actually products like these are going to regulate your oil production of your skin is going to reduce it and that is great so here i am transferring the mixture into my uh, jar i love using glass jar to preserve my shea butter in the future i'm going to buy a dark tone sheep uh, jar glass jar so that you know it will prevent uh, um, the bottle will not get direct sunlight so that will keep it preserved in a better way you can see how soft it is it's going to become a little bit so more solid when i'm using uh, after uh, like 24 hours but it will still be easy to take and uh, apply on your skin so this is everything this is all this is going to last me the whole of the summer and uh, make sure you apply it on damp skin not on extremely dry skin so when i finish taking my shower i quickly uh, rub my skin with the shea butter so that it will remain 
soft so thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video if you do please share it that will help me a lot to grow you can leave a comment below with your own opinion and or information that can help me to improve you know my my skin products can you see how my skin is becoming so bright so you me after applying the she butter lovely thank you once again have a beautiful day god loves you all and see you in my next video Mwah.